everyone, thanks so much for joining me. My name is Susan Timchak and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And I'd like to welcome you here today. Well, today is January 6th and um, if I haven't already done so, I want to wish you all a Happy New Year. So with the New Year um, comes organization. I know, I know, nobody likes to organize. But the worst thing of when you're a, either a Stampin' Up! demonstrator or a crafter or even in your day-to-day -day life is organization. And the things that you spend the most time on is trying to find things. So with it being January and with me being in the organization mode, I thought I would share with you a, for, a few things that I do regarding stamp-related for um, some, some organization tips and, and, I mean, maybe something can help you. Maybe this will spark something for you. Um, but um, take it with a grain of salt. But, you know, let's, let's just take a look at some of the things that I like to do when I get new product and or wish to organize things. Okay, so first off, I just did an unboxing last night. I had a team meeting on our Facebook page and um, I had two boxes here that hadn't been opened for, oh, I know, over two weeks, but life has just been hectic. So this is one of the new um, stamp sets called Petal Palette. Okay, that is in the new Occasions catalog. So let me share with you. This is our Occasions catalog, and this is brand new. This runs through the end of May, and if you don't currently have a demonstrator and you're interested in getting either the Occasions Catalog or the Celebration Catalog, please let me know. Send me um, an email at stampandsuecreates at gmail.com and I can get them out to you. So, um, the Celebration Catalog, actually if you're not aware of, everything in this catalog is free with a $50 purchase. And the purchase can be from either the current occasions catalog or our annual catalog. And um, there's a lot of great items in here. So that is why um, I, I ordered some new things from the occasions catalog. So that's what I have to organize. So that's where this stamp set came from. Anyhow, back to why we're here. Um, this actually came in um, two cases. Okay, so this was a, a double stamp set. So um, I'm going to show you what I did with the extra case. I consolidated the um, two stamp sets in this stamp set. Hmm, what am I looking for? It's two stamp sets in one. So it's actually um, two different pieces of the red rubber that you get. So I used one because I don't like to have two of them together with this ugly rubber band. They get separated, blah, blah, blah. So what I did, and I'm sure you already know this, is these come out, okay, because this is like a DVD case. So I put the one, which it came with, on the front. Okay, so one of two. And then from the second one, that one I put upside down, easier said than done, in here, because it has a little bit of a spine here, so you can see it says Petal Palette, one of two, okay, so this way, both of them are in here, now it comes with these sticker sheets, many of you know I don't use these, because I feel it sticks better to the acrylic block without it, so for whatever reason, because I can't throw anything away, I keep them. I just tuck them behind this right here. Okay, so then when I get my stamps, you know, your stamps come in a sheet like this, and it has this paper on it. So what I like to do, and normally if you were putting the stickers on, you um, have to remove this anyhow. Um, to adhere your stickers. So I peel this off, then I peel off all of these pieces, okay? And then I peel them all off, blah, blah, and I stick it in here, such as how I did this one. So they're all peeled off, and I'm gonna place this in here, and it's sticky. And what I like to do, oh, look, I'm missing a little chunk of there off that one. Hmm. 
So what I like to do then is I will just pull these off of here. I'll take it out first. Pull these out. And they're very durable, so you don't have to worry, um, you know, unless you're really rough about tearing them. And I like to keep this piece of rubber so it's like a puzzle piece. So, I mean, even if your kids are driving you nuts when you're stamping, give this to them. And tell them, here, put the puzzle back together. <laughs> so, these just fit right in here like a puzzle. And then when you're using this or if you're dem a demonstrator and you have this at a class or whatever, by doing it this way, I like to know that, ooh, this stamp is missing. So, I find it and I stick it in there. Okay, just like that. Okay, and then you close it up and it fits in there perfectly. So this eliminates having two, two boxes with the rubber band together. Okay, so six minutes in, I'm still blabbering about that. <laughs> okay, so now I had two of these cases, so I have an extra case. So what do I do? Okay, now this is the Memories and More. What did I do with the box? It comes in a box. Oh, here it is. It comes in a box, okay, like this. Just a little cardboard box. This is the front. This is the front of the box. Okay, just like this. And this is how it comes. I mean, it's it's not really feasible for me to keep it in the box like that. Number one, I don't see it, so out of sight, out of mind. And number two, this box is going to get all ripped and torn to shreds and whatnot. So I cut the front off, and I use my other stamp case from the other stamp set that I didn't need, and I slip that in there. And then these are the cards that came with it. Now this is the Petal Passion, so this coordinates with the Petal Passion, the Petal Palette stamp set. And oh my gosh, if you have not seen these. Uh, you you need to check them out in the occasions catalog. These are stunning. They have some die cut things, and then the rest of them are these cards. Okay, look how stunning these are. And a lot of people use them for memory keeping, but I think they're quick and simple for making all sorts of cards. You know, you can cut them out with your die cuts and everything. So anyhow, I like to take the smaller cards and I put them in there and then the larger cards go in there and close it up and look how fun that is I mean I can see what it is when I'm rummaging through and I can find it very quickly and I'm like oh that's right I wanted to use that so something else you can do if you don't have and we do sell these cases so um, I don't believe they're in the catalog, but they are available. So these are like the wood cases, the wood mount cases, which are thicker. And these are the, um, the, uh, the red rubber and the photopolymer stamp set cases. And you can buy them and, and you get a couple of them in, in, um, in an order. So this is if you don't have this size. This is the wood mount case. And this is the Memories and More. Now this one is the Color Theory card pack. And of course, these fit in here really well and um, gives you a little more room if you maybe wanted to tuck in a few other coordinating products that go with the memories and more, um, you know, uh, whether they be ones that, that match with your color theory, like little um, glimmer dots or things like that. So I like to do that. So whatever works for you and they're easy to um, store, love that. I also use these wooden cases for, um, or you can use the other ones as well, for storage. Now normally this should be in that one. Um, so I keep my, my pearls and my rhinestones and things like that, all my little embellishments in there. The glue dots should also be in the other one. We're a little mixed up here, people. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I keep them in there. And then I do have another one for all these other, like, Stampin' Dimensionals, um, things I get from paper pumpkin kits, the little glue dots. I even have some Velcro in here, the strips. So these should go in here, and I think I'm going to have to start another box. So this way, um, you know, you're trying to find your dimensionals. Well, you can label the side here if you have a label kit or something, and... Um, all of your stamps and all of these boxes are all the same.
perfect size. So I hope that gives you a few ideas of what you can do to help get your stamp and stuff a little bit organized and save you a lot of time from looking for things and a lot more time to do some stamping. So be sure to visit my um, online store if you're interested in ordering any of these products. It is open 24-7 and it's over at stampinsuecreates.stampinup.net. So thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have a super stamping day and I hope to see you back here again real soon. Bye for now.